guys, so today's video is going to be my May favorites. If you can't tell from my voice, I am like, I don't know, I have like really bad allergies and they've kind of hit me, they kind of hit me over the weekend and I actually lost my voice and so I sound kind of rough, but the show must go on. I needed to get my May favorites up and I have like not very many products this month. I don't know. I feel like May was kind of like a simple month. I didn't really venture outside the box too much. I kind of stuck with a group of products and then just kind of um, like used those products all month and didn't, and they were just like a few things. I kept it really simple last month. So, but we'll share those and um, the products that I did use, I really, really loved. And so, yeah, let's get started. So for makeup, what I was loving this month, um, I guess I'll just start with a lip favorite that I think I've mentioned before, but last month I started wearing it a lot again, and that's the um, Revlon Lip Butter in Creme Brulee. So it's just like a basic like nude champagne color um, yeah, I'm sure everybody's seen this color. It's one of the more popular lip butters, but I just felt like you didn't have to think about it. I put like threw it in my bag and then it just kind of stayed there all month. And I really, I don't know, I really enjoy this color for whatever makeup look you're doing. It's just like a nice nude color. You don't have to like think too much about. So I was liking that. The other lip product that I wore like crazy, again, just one of those colors that kind of goes with everything. You don't really need to think too much about it. It's one of the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses in Salsa, and it's just this beautiful pink, and again, just really simple. Um, just a really simple color. And then the other product that I was loving this month was from Wet n Wild Color Icon Palettes. And it looks like this. It's just got this kind of like peachy flesh tone color, a bit of like, like a deep, deep chocolate brown that has some really fine gold flecks in it. And then this sort of mauvey purple gray color. And that one I've been using like crazy and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. And it's just this really gorgeous color. It's kind of different and it kind of keeps with the nude eye theme, but it has got a little bit of color to it. So that's why I'm loving these. These are so pigmented and so, um, just great like all the way around like the price is great um here i'll show you that's like the movie color and then this is like the chocolatey brown color and then the nude color but um yeah just really pig pigmented really soft they stay all day i would suggest using an eye primer with them just to give them that extra hold so that they don't crease and that kind of thing but I love these. These are affordable. They're great for any budget, any makeup budget that you have. Um, they fit right in. Like, I think these are like $2. So the, so the next thing that I'm loving is not really a new product again. Like, I think I've talked about it in my blog and I just found myself reaching for it because it's so simple and it creates like really beautiful looks. Um, it's the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick in Torch. And it's basically got this like brown bronzy color. I'll swatch a little. I'm sure everybody has seen this. And on the other end is this kind of pink champagne. Yeah, more of like a pink fleshy toned color. And it's just a really beautiful product. It applies beautifully. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't smudge. Um, and the thing that I love the most about this is that you can create so many different looks just using your finger and smudging the product out. You could do a really smoky eye, you could do more of a natural eye. I'm actually wearing the bronze color today and then I just put like a gold shadow over it and then some of that mauve color in the crease and underneath and I'm good to go. It's so simple, you could just apply it, blend it out with your finger and I don't even use an eye primer when I use this product because it just works so well on its own. You don't need anything um, and I kind of like that because it's weird, like in the hotter months I feel like eye primers really 
I don't know, they're like heavy on my eye. Like I can feel them underneath all my makeup. And you know, you just want to wear the least amount of products you can in the hotter months because let's face it, nobody likes their makeup melting down their face. Um, so the less Less is kind of more in the summer months, I think. Um, so this is a really great product. Like I said, um, I only have Torch, but I would definitely go pick up more of these. Last makeup thing that I have for this month is a lip combination. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. Um, it is the Nikki 2 lipstick from MAC. And this is a really, I did a blog post on this, so I'll link that down below. But this is a color that I normally wouldn't reach for. It's really outside my box as far as lip colors go. But it's this really beautiful lavender pink color. And again, it's just something I wouldn't normally reach for. But the girl at MAC just totally sucked me in when she put it on my lips. And then this is the magenta lip liner I wear with it. So basically I just line my lips with the magenta lip liner, put on some of the lipstick, use a lip brush or my finger and just kind of blend it all in. Um, and then to kind of soften it a bit for the daytime, I've just been using some NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss and this is in Sugar Pie. So this is just a real basic um, gloss, not a lot to it. Um, it's just to kind of soften the lipstick. Um, but if I was going out in the evening, I would definitely just skip the gloss and go for like a bit of an edgier look. I have to get all this makeup off my hand. It really bothers me when there's like sticky stuff all over the back of my hand. So that's it for my makeup products. <laughs> So I was loving two hair products for the month of May. Um, I The first product is the Tresemme Tray 2 Spray Extra Hold Hairspray. It's the one with the green label. And I love this hairspray for so many reasons. First of all, it comes in this gigantor um, bottle, so you have tons of it. It's a really inexpensive hairspray, and it smells great. It works really good against humidity like it really fights the humidity well for um for a drugstore hairspray um it also leaves your hair manageable and soft it doesn't leave it crunchy or crusty which i really don't like in a hairspray i don't really like that hard um, crunchy look so this is a really nice surprise for a drugstore hairspray I know a lot of people have talked about this but I typically use um, Sebastian shaper plus hairspray I just think it's a really good hairspray um, it has a really amazing formula and it's really been consistent over the years um, but I ran out of it and I needed something else so I ran to CVS I picked this up and I really really have been loving this so if you have haven't tried this or maybe you're wanting to switch up your hairspray you check out the tray too and I bet you you will be just as surprised as I am um, and then the other product I'm loving is a product I've been using for a long time um, but I quit using it for a while but now that the humidity is back up and I'm living in a place that's really really hot with a really really high humidity um, I feel like I need a little extra hold for my curls and I've been using the Kenra um, thermal styling spray this works really really well at holding through high humidity and through the heat <laughs> So the first thing that I've been wearing like crazy because all the month of May, every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, I've been going to the pool. And I don't like to go to the pool without a hat, number one, because I have crazy, crazy hair. Um, because it's so curly, it's sort of curly hair plus pool water plus heat plus humidity just equals a really really bad hair day so I like to hide my hair under a hat um, and then I picked this one up from Target so I think this was around ten dollars at Target it's just that sort of woven straw fedora you see them everywhere I think they're really cute and they go with everything um, and then it's got this really cute like black band around it so I just thought this was a cute hat to kind of again take to the pool or just kind of throw on if you're like 
running to the grocery store or running to get a coffee or something and you don't want to deal with your hair I think it's really fun in the summer to have like a few cute hats to just I don't know you know some of those days where you just don't want to do anything with your hair it's good to have cute hats. Um, the next thing I'm loving is these well-worn t-shirts from Target. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. They're really, really, really soft. Um, that's the first thing that I like about them. They come in like really cute colors. Like I'm wearing the pink one today and then I grabbed this like gray one. And so they're just like a v-neck, um, just a basic tee. And then they look like really worn. So I think that that's like a cute look for just like throwing on with like a skirt or some cutoffs or whatever um, but these are really really great really inexpensive I think about ten dollars each so you might want to head to Target if you're looking for some good t-shirts for the summer um, and pick up the well worns because they're awesome um, but this is a t-shirt I picked up at Target as well it's got this cute little owl on it and it's just like a bright fun color I wore it in one of my videos I think the stepping out for summer video i wore this t-shirt and it, they're just really comfy i don't know target makes really comfortable like tank tops and t-shirts and they're really inexpensive and then the last thing is this um for shirts is this tank top it's one of their lace camis from target and again it's just really really soft really light so everything breathes really well you don't um end up you know like sweating and dying in their clothes um, and then this is just like a really pretty color I just really liked this color for um, the summertime I'm living in is jean cutoffs so I went and picked a couple pairs up from American Eagle and these are just like really ripped up and frayed at the bottom American Eagle makes the most comfortable jean shorts ever so that's it for my favorites for the month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.